All right. My name is Dylan Peterson, and I'm the general manager of Black Series Campers here in the United States. We're the uh, second largest manufacturer and retailer of camper caravan in Australia for the last 11 years. This is our U.S. debut here at the RVIA show. I'm standing next to our F1, also known as our Dominator. This is our forward folding tent. The lid here folds forward to unveil the tent. Uh, it's a very simple setup, about 10 minutes, all gas strut actuated. Um, we have multiple storage compartments around the unit. Uh, our main power control is here. Uh, resettable circuit breakers on all circuits. Individual circuits are all controlled by individual switches. We have your, your water tank gauge and your voltage gauge here. So. Up front we have our, our first storage compartment. This holds our awning pole. It has two lockable slide, roller slide drawers for storage. There's one of these on each side in this compartment. All the compartments are rubber weather strips, fully sealed, by red moisture and dust, and fully lockable with our stainless steel latches. Our front storage compartment is much larger. It's where we keep our cassette toilet that's included with the unit. And also, this spare set of wheel bearings that come with the unit, as Australians don't like to be stuck anywhere. You'll also find the, the handle for the hand cranks that are located on the front and rear if you need a mechanical assistance opening and closing the trailer. All of our lighting is LED, high efficiency, low draw. With the 90 watt included solar panel in the unit, we can stay off grid for about seven to ten days without any major issues. Up front, you'll find our custom poly block hitch, which is good to 70 degrees of vertical movement. Along with the climate that attaches to it on the truck, it's good to about 180 degrees of swivel each way. We left the mandatory manual parking brake on from Australia. This eliminates the need for wheel shocks. It uses our standard 7 pin connector, and we actually oversized the, tote, the connecting chain by two sizes compared to what's actually required. This is the hand winch we were discussing before. There's a loop on the center of the lid here that you can grab and actually open it with the hand winch. Up front, we hold two 30-pound uh, LP tanks and two five-gallon jerry cans, NATO size. Up in our front storage compartment here, you'll find another a large slide locking slide-out uh, roller drawer here that we usually use for our 12-volt uh, Dometic fridges. Um, this has the, the smaller uh, 50 liter unit in it, but it will also hold the 80 liter fridge freezer unit. And it has its own included ventilation fan and LED lighting. This is the opposite side of the compartment we talked about again. You see the matching drawer on this side, and you can see the back side of your awning pole bag here. This is our front door. It stays closed and secured when the tops are down. Nobody can get into it. Your batteries and inverter are located in the unit. Our full kitchen. Uh, these are normally equipped with a three burner stove, uh, LP, has running water and LED lighting, full stainless steel, also includes a nice 20 inch stainless cutting board, all of the stainless steel hardware. All of our trailers are equipped with VF Goodrich KO2 tires. Uh, load range D, they're actually a little overrated for the trailer, but I wanted to use a good quality off-road tire. Our frame is full galvanized steel, five-year structural warranty, two-year limited on everything else. It covers, including the tech canvas. The only thing it doesn't cover is the brakes, the bearings, and the tires. And like I said before, we give you an extra set of bearings. The ground clearance at the bottom of the arm is 14 inches. Okay. That's at its lowest point, so water tank clearance is 24 inches. These are 33 inch tires, they're 285, 75, 16, 1600 pounds.